Okay, so this is uh, part five in the triangulation video series, and what I want to do, like I said, is to find the true length of these lines. And the best way to do that is just use the revolution method. Okay, the length of this line is 2.9044, and actually, before I can use that, um, I need to do one other thing real quick. I need to to draw um, our line and to find the points like we did on the first video. Okay, so I'm just going to write that down, the 2.9044. Okay, and I'm just going to draw a line in from here over to that point. Now again, I want to start off at a known point, uh, which would be this point point here okay and then draw over to this okay um, so I need to uh, go to properties and find out my arc length is 1.5708 1.5708 divided by 12 1.1309 which I kinda knew that from the first video 0 0.1309 and uh, my ellipse. Now you can't just look on the properties panel and find out the length of your ellipse, okay? But you can type in list, okay? And if you go to list, it'll tell you the length of it. It's 4.7996. Divide that by 12. And that's 3.3999, and we'll just call it 0.4. Okay. And I found out the true length of that line before, and it was 2.9044. Okay. So I can draw a line from that point to this intersection on both sides because it's symmetrical. And I can erase that. And then I need to, to work back along that same line okay and I need so to be able to do that I need to find the true length of this green line alright and oh I messed up I need to hold off on that 2.9044 measurement I need to find the true length of this line that I drew in first And I also need to locate that same point in this view. Got a little ahead of myself. Okay. 2.9235. So now I can draw that line that I wanted to draw to that intersection, that intersection, and now I can use my 2.9044 that I found initially. Draw a line from that endpoint here to this new intersection. Okay. And again, those lines are simply these are the ones that I constructed, the ones I made up. The line in the middle is your red line. And the line, the green line are on each side. Okay? And the green lines correspond to these lines in this view. Now when you get done with the uh, the bottom view, Okay, the bottom development, it will look like this. Okay, 
and again you simply like we did in the first video you take the outline out and you'll end up with this shape okay and what you want to do is put it somewhere pretty close to your first development and then you can use the nifty little align command and you want to highlight that Okay, and you after you, you you pick your first point on the source object, first point on the destination object, second point on the source object, second point on the destination point uh, object, and then you select return three times, and this is what your final development would look like. And believe it or not, if you cut that out, it is a very close representation of what the final object should look like. And that concludes this video.